video discusses matrix operations, in particular how to add matrices and multiply a matrix times a vector. So matrices can be multiplied by constants and added together if they're the same size. I think if I do one example, you'll see instantly what I'm talking about here. So I could do 3 times the matrix 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, 0 plus the matrix negative 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 6. These are fairly self-explanatory operations. You take the first matrix and multiply every single entry by 3. That's what 3 times this matrix means. So you scale every entry by this constant 3 to get 3, 6, 3, 0, 3, 0. And then you can add it to this matrix because they're both matrices with two rows and three columns. So you could add them component-wise. So you just add the two entries in the same component together. And I believe you will get 2, 6, 5. 0, 6, 6. So that's all there is to matrix addition, and you can multiply a matrix by a constant as well. Now let's get into multiplying a matrix times a vector. What is a vector in our context? A vector is simply an n by 1 matrix. So it's a matrix with exactly one column, but can have many rows. So for example, x could be 1, 4, 0, 3. This is a 4 by 1 vector, or a 4-dimensional vector. You could take a matrix that has n columns and multiply it with an n by 1 vector. So let's see how to do that. So a matrix A that has n columns can be multiplied with an n by 1 vector x. Usually when I have a vector, I put a little line above it to denote that I actually have a vector. What is the calculation? The calculation is A, X, so we write the matrix A on the left side and X on the right side. Let's say the matrix A has N columns those columns are vectors because, again, a vector is just a column of numbers. So let's say that first column is the vector A1. So A1 is like a column vector that goes tall like that. The next vector is A2. And this goes on until I get to the last column, AN. And then the vector X is a vector as well. That means one column of numbers. Let's say that column of numbers is x1 through xn. So this matrix multiplication is defined to be the constant x1 times the vector a1 added with all these terms that look like a constant times a column vector. Okay, let's finish this vi video by doing a number of examples of multiplying a matrix times a vector. So here's our first example. I can multiply 2, 1, 1, 3, 0, 4. That's a matrix that has three columns, and I can multiply that with the column vector. Let's say 1, all right, 1, negative 1, 1. So the idea is, I take this 
one, and I multiply the first column by one. So I'm going to do one times the column two three, and I take the second negative one, and I'm going to multiply that times the second column. So I get plus negative one times one zero, and this last one will be multiplied by the third column. So I get one times one four. And since I know how to add two matrices or vectors together and multiply by constants, I could just do that. So I get one times two minus one plus one. I believe that gives me two. And I could do three minus zero plus four. So two, seven. So that's how you do a matrix times a vector. Let's do another example. What if I had 1, 1, 0, 2, 0, 0, 3, 1, 0, times the vector 0, 1, 2. So the number and the numbers in these this vector, this column, tells you what to multiply the columns of the matrix by. So I'm going to do 0 times this first column, 1 times the second column, and 2 times this third column. So if you do that, I believe you get 0 of these guys, so you don't get anything in column 1. You get 1 of column 2, and 2 times this column of all zeros. I think it's pretty easy to see. You get the column vector 1, 0, 1. Now the reason that matrix multiplication is defined that way, this way, is in part because it'll help us write linear systems as matrix multiplications. So let's finish this video with two examples of that process. Let's say I have the system 2x plus y equals 1, 3x plus y is equal to 2, and 5x plus 2y is equal to 3. So we've been talking about how to solve linear systems like this. You can take a linear system and write it as a matrix multiplication. So this is the same thing as 2, 1, 3, 1, 5, 2, times the column vector x, y, is equal to the column vector 1, 2, 3. These two systems are exactly the same. Why? When you do the matrix multiplication, you're going to do x times the first column plus y times the second column. So this becomes x times 2, 3, 5 plus y times 1, 1, 2, and if you add these vectors together, you get 2x plus y, 3x plus y, and then 5x plus 2y, which is exactly this side of the system. So you could write any system as, so systems that we've been discussing, linear systems of this form, Systems can be written as a matrix multiplication. A times a vector x is another vector b. So this is the matrix A in the previous example. This is the vector x. The vector x is a, usually a vector of unknown constants that we'd like to find. And b, this vector here, is a vector that's known, usually constants. And the goal is to find the solution, find the x variable in this equation. Maybe I should just finish here with this space on the paper to do one other example. So one other example, just very briefly, the system 1, 2, 0, 1, x, y is equal to 4, 5 is the system represented by x 
plus 2y is equal to 4, and 0x plus y is equal to 5. Okay, wonderful.